What's up guys, this is Damien with Hosh Online and I wanted to do a quick video about uh, some of the apps you might want to have in your arsenal if you plan on hacking or modding uh, your, your tablet, phone, whatever Android device that you own. Um, we're going to just jump right into this. The first thing I would recommend you to get would be a little app called AirDroid. Now, this is what the interface on your, as you can see on my touchpad, but my, uh, your tablet, phone, whatever that you have that's Android, uh, this is what the interface looks like on the device. So what you would do is log into this IP address and enter your code that would be down here. Actually, we're going to go ahead, we're going to do it. So you would, you would go to this, this address and enter that on your computer and then this code you would enter that into the AirDroid interface the password three you'll hear that tone from your device and that lets you know you're logged in AirDroid so what can you do with AirDroid? Okay, when you download your ROM, your hack, whatever you, it is that you need, you know, normally you would grab your uh, micro HDMI cable and you would transfer that to the SD card or internal memory of your device. Well, well what AirDroid allows you to do is it allows you to just over Wi-Fi put all your files onto your, your uh, device and vice versa. So as you can see in this, uh, as you can see the files, I can go into my files and these are all the files that are on my touchpad and I can go to my SD card and say my backups, my clockwork, my backups. I can click on them and bam, there's my backup. Now th what I normally use it for, I, I do use it to transfer files off of my device into my computer, but what I mainly use it for is if I download my ROM and I need to get it on my SD card without having to, you know, find the wire and all, you know, of that mess, um, I just go into files, click upload, select files, and these are all of my files. And then I just transfer on there and click open. I don't really have any files right now, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. And it'll 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 uh, light up right here, and it will start uh, uploading. And after it's finished, if it has been successfully downloaded, uh, uploaded to my device, then it'll say success. AirDroid saves you a ton of time, a ton of time. Uh, instead of trying to look for your micro SD and then, you know, tr sometimes, uh, now you have, you can't even do just a direct, you have to, uh, download the, what's the Android file transfer or whatever, you know, it's just makes, it just makes it a whole lot less yeah. hack that I like to, uh, have on my, on hand when I'm, uh, doing things with Android or hacking is a uh, solid explorer. Solid Explorer lets you, uh, it's, you know, it's a standard uh, file explorer app, and but you know it has a little bit more of the visual flair. And you guys know I love a visual flair. Uh, it let, allows you to connect through FTP, uh, uh, view and uh, scan through your folders. But it also allows you to connect to the cloud. Uh, only two services now, Box.net and uh, Dropbox, which, you know, probably are arguably the most popular cloud services on uh, Android right now. Uh, maybe not long before Google Drive takes over. If you turn the device, then you get a uh, multiple view. You, so you can, and on one side, be looking at your internal memory, and on the other side, look at your SD card and it makes life a whole lot easier when transferring files uh, between the two and also I like the fact that with Solid Explorer you can view what's taking up your memory currently and a nice little diagram uh, that's one thing that Root Explorer and maybe FX 
don't have going for them as much as Solid Explorer does. Another app that I like to have on hand is for diagnostics is system panel now we just saw you know uh, uh, the properties of what was taking up memory on our device uh, system panel gets a little deeper and lets you know processors uh, what your CPU activity is uh, as you can see it's a uh, green which means that on, on the first core and then number two is for the second core uh, dual core phone uh, so this shows that you know what, what processes not what processes are running but how much of the system is being used uh, network um, memory uh, internal memory battery temperatures just pretty much anything you need to know hardware wise about your device and uh, it's always good to have a hand, especially if you're starting to see uh, maybe an app is gone rogue or uh, your your device is slowing down, stuttering a little bit. Uh, you can kind of use these tools to to uh, search and see what it is that could be the problem. And those are the tools that I like to have on deck: AirDroid, Solid Explorer and set system panel and there'll be links below for you guys to be able to go directly to the market and be able to check those apps out for yourself uh, but this was Damien Hosh online didn't want to do uh, that big of a video just you know uh, something to help you guys out uh, while you're rooting Android so once again this is Damien Hosh online peace